you moved my microphone. Hey everybody, welcome back to the shop. I am James, and this week on Things I Learned in School, uh, Interpersonal Communications, we're still talking, we're still sharing, it's still painful. Uh, specifically, we're talking about the uh, communication, the transactional communication process. Um, yeah, it's just... You know, it is what it is. It's just class. You talk, you share, you write papers. Not much more to talk about than that. Um, machining class. What did we do? I'm continuing to work on the um, bench block, and uh, I have a I have a well, I have a printout of a picture that I took of my plans. And I'm using that in conjunction with a, it's just a blank table that I was given in basic machining, uh, which is just trying to figure out your processes. And that is, I mean, it's just, we sit down, we look at the part and you try to figure out how you're going to attack it. Um, I, um, I cut a rim on one end of it and I probably shouldn't have done that. But, um, you know, you're just trying to guess your way through this thing. So, um, it's boring holes in stuff right now. Um, so we've gotten the center hole drilled. Uh, we've got it faced off, flipped it around, and now we're using the boring bar, trying to get it opened up, um, to the inside diameter that we need for the print. And we got interrupted. So now I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to get it. I had to take it out of the chuck. Because it's been, we had a holiday too, so, you know, lost a Monday yesterday. So, although I did learn a good tip is uh, trying to get it back into a three-jaw vise uh, in a somewhat straight fashion is to take a parallel and uh, put it on the back face of the chuck and then put my part up to it. That sounds like a good plan, uh, so we'll see if that works. Um, that's just kind of the way we're going. Uh, math class, we are dealing with uh, all kinds of fun stuff. Fractions, uh, powers, and exponents, and um, roots, square roots, cube roots, lots of roots, and, uh, and uh, order of operations. That's probably the bigger thing. Uh, interestingly enough, I'm using a uh, a Texas Instruments TI-30, I don't know, some ilk. I'll put it here somewhere. And, and it's a two-line display, and I can actually input, I can do some cool things on that. I can actually input fractions to it. Um, I, I can't, yes, I know. Oh, you're a pain. Um can input fractions into it, um, you know, can do uh, some things that I, you know, I wasn't able to do or come on up, Reptar. Welcome to my life. Uh, I'm able to do some things that I wasn't actually able to do on some previous calculators, so it kind of interesting, um, and, and that's just kind of it. Um, it was the Memorial Day weekend. It was crazy busy uh, because um, we did have a shed project that got completed. Uh, we did have a graduation party for one of my kids. Um, I mean, it's just nonstop, nonstop fun. So uh, it's going to be short because that's I mean that's really all there, really all there was to it. Uh, I'm trying again. I'm, I'm trying to get more pictures of machining and stuff, but um, golly, stop! But I'm there to machine. I'm not there to make videos. So um, 
what's my, I guess, what's my takeaway from this week? Um, pay attention in machining class as far as um, order of operations, the way that you want to do things and kind of think things out. Um, and then math, just paying attention. Oh, I did get to go to the taco truck. <sighs> so good. Uh, this was the marinated pork nachos, the nachos, uh, car, nachos carnita, and then uh, uh, the, uh, oh, in building 20, I want to show you this real quick. In building 20, first of all, there's a lovely view of the uh, Dayton skyline. This is a little more panoramic shot, uh, looking from the, I don't know, 5th or 6th Street bridge over to the railroad trestle. Um, but in the lobby, uh, in the lobby of the vehicle building, they have, again, this is not my, this is not my area of expertise at all. Sure looks like a Tesla car frame, but it has this weird Delco, I don't know if it's a giant battery pack. It's like, it's like the cat is talking. Um, some kind of weird battery assembly thing on it because I know the Tesla batteries fit underneath the floor pan, you know, underneath where all of the seats are. So, I, you know, I'm curious as to what this is. I'm trying to find somebody who can answer the questions for me, but I haven't, I haven't bumped into anybody that knows what's going on there. Um, so that's, uh, that's kind of strange. Um, and then, um, Mrs. Rattlecan is out of town, so I had to go grocery shopping, and uh, man, what is up with food? I mean, they're, they're pita. It's it's flour and water, and they bake it. It's that's They want $9 for a bag of it. That's no. Not going to happen. Anyways, that's the craziness that's happening here at the shop. Um you guys have a great rest of the week. I think I'm going to go mow the yard because I already got my homework done. Yes. Reptar says, have a, have a good day. Don't you? Or not. Anyways, you guys have a good one. Cheers. Thanks for taking the time out of your day to spend it here with me. Hope you enjoyed this video. Here's one that you might enjoy as well. If you're not already subscribed, be sure to hit that button. Hit the bell next to it so that you get a notification when we drop a new video. If you've got comments, put them down beneath the sermon notes. And remember, if I can do it, you can do it. You guys have a great weekend. Cheers.